In this video, it's going to be about how to do your first JavaScript. So I'm assuming that you know a little about HTML. And here is the um, just the start of it and the HTML head title body. So we're going to write our first scripts and we're going to start off with just the word script. And we're going to close that the same way as you do with HTML. Oops. I've written HTML the script and oh, there we go and we can write this in the body or in the head it used to be when we used to write it in the head but it's all changed so the first script is we're going to put document document dot right I'm going to put parathesis around these and in between these brackets See, there's document dot right in between these bars. I'm going to put a speech marks, so just them. And the usual thing is for any program and language is hello world. But we'll put hello universe. So we just go file. We'll save that as our first script. I'll just put it in a folder called JavaScript, but you can do whatever you want. And we're just going to put that and see what it looks like. The default browser on here is Opera. So here we are, hello universe. So that's worked. And we'll just do it on some other browser. And we'll try this on Firefox. So there you go, hello, hello universe. So that can be your first script. Another good ones to uh, learn straight away is alert boxes, alert, parathesis, semicolon, and speech marks again. Um, and we put, uh, hi there, how are you? And here we go, see if just zoom in there. So alert, hi there, how are you? And that's another way to start us off. And it's actually, as you learn JavaScript, alert boxes are good for debugging as well. So we just put file, save, and we'll see how that works. And that's Opera, there's your JavaScript alert. Hi there, how are you? And hello universe is still there. So we'll just try that out on um, Internet Explorer as well. And this is now blocked content. There you are. Hi there, how are you? And hello universe. So that's all worked and there's others. That's a good starting point and is confirm. These are confirm boxes where you see OK or cancel. And we just again put speech marks in there and we'll say, what would you like to do? And then we just put file, save and again, Test it out there. So there's, hi there, how are you? And there is our new one. What would you like to do? And then you have OK or cancel. You've seen these boxes, I'm sure, many times before. And we just cancel that one. Knock down Opera. And we go to uh, Google Chrome. Hi there, how are you? And what would you like to do? And again, we'll just click cancel. And so they're good ones to get you going. And another one is prompt. And again, the parathesis, semicolon, and we put in the speech marks. You can either put them in like that, or you can put them in with just one speech mark, as in the ones there at the, uh, like the confirm, just the one little speech mark thing. And these ones have them too, it doesn't really matter. So we put the, uh, can I prompt you, prompt you, and we just put file, save. You can use any text editor you want or HTML editor. Uh, tools, and I don't go for Firefox this time. And there, hi there, how are you? What would you like to do? Console. And uh, can I prompt you? And then you can write whatever you want, really. And then OK or cancel. So 
So there's a good ways to getting off with your JavaScript. And you can also put these, just cut this and put them in the head. And we just go paste and it'll be exactly the same as what you've just done. There we go with tools. Hi there, how are you? What would you like to do? Can I prompt you? Okay. So there just to get you going and the next video I hope to do about um, variables and uh, how we work with them in JavaScript. But I hope you've learned something from that. Of course, this is just for, for beginners, but it can give you confidence when you can do stuff like that from, from the get-go. So thanks for watching and thanks for listening.